Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating that worn out LP look. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because my friend who's a DJ asked me to make him a cover for his mixtape and he sent me an email. Well, not an email, but he sent me this image in the email and he asked if I could reproduce this look on the on his mixtape basically because it was an old school tape and he wanted to have that um, that feel. So I said, no problem. Um, I thought I'd be able to use this image, but because of all the colors, even though they're grays, all the colors in here would be impossible to use this image. It would just take too much work. And for what I'm being paid to make him a cover, it's not, not worth it. Um, so I thought I'd find some, some tutorials on YouTube, how to reproduce it, or some brushes somewhere. But unfortunately, I found nothing. So I hit Google again and looked for some album covers. And um, what I found was... A perfect image it is a Beatles it looks like it's the Beatles white album but it's gray so it's easily worked with and it's one color with that grunge so I'm gonna produce this album reproduce this very quickly here for you okay first let me just get rid of this Beatles thing here we don't need this okay so I'm gonna get the image I'll be working with uh, actually when I was searching for album covers I actually found this old Michael Jackson cover and I had the same album and it was probably worn out worse than this 10 times <laughs> worse than this anyway let me get back to what I'm here for okay so speaking of that I'll just be using a Michael Jackson cover that I found um, I resized it uh, recropped it for the purposes of this tutorial okay so basically the first thing you want to do is grab your 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 worn out image and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it over <coughs> and lay it right on top of the, the the album I'll be working with and change the mode to screen and basically that's it but the problem here is because the album was gray it looks really faded so it's easy and that's another easy fix what I'm going to do I'm going to add a levels adjustment to color correct that um, and I want to only work on that adjustment, not the whole image. So I'm going to hit the control button and I'm going to get my little, my two little circles there and hit click it. So that way I'm only working on, I'm only going to be adjusting that layer of the Beatles album, not the Michael Jackson album. Okay, so, and it's non destructive by making it an adjustment level, it's non destructive. So if I mess up or I want to make some changes later on, I could always come back to it. So we want to bring out the blacks here. Okay, so just drag it over a little bit until it looks pretty good. I want to keep the whites, but so but still fix it a little bit. And basically, I'm done. And that's it. Maybe I'll just adjust the blues. I'm seeing a little blues in there, so I'll just take off some of the blues. And there we go. And basically, that's it. I mean, I could color correct it a little more, but that's basically it. All it took all about one minute. So, <clears throat> I kept on looking anyway, I was happy with that, but I kept on looking and I actually found a, a much better image. It was a complete black image, really grunged out. So I said, wow. So I'm going to show you the difference and how much easier it is and the look that it's going to create when you have a, a black album. So the same thing, I'm just going to drag this over to the place right on top of the Michael Jackson album. Actually, I don't want it. Um, in that layer so I'm gonna hide these two so I have the mic the the other black album here and the same thing I'm gonna just gonna change the screen mode and boom <laughs> done you can't get better than that that looks perfect I mean if you want to play with the colors and the levels again you can but basically that's it and we're done okay I just want to say thanks for watching and in the description I'll be adding the links to the to both of the album covers and I'll give the, the credit to the, the uploaders uh, from the websites where I found these, alright? So anyways, thanks for watching.